channel is a word of mouth channel. It's a channel where you actually can go person to person and build a business. Now, people in that channel primarily operate with those kinds of products and in that kind of way. In the red box there. They have typically vitamins that they offer, nutritional supplements, they offer cosmetics, they offer household products, and they sell their products by anecdotal evidence. Now what does anecdotal mean? It means it's not real evidence. <laughs> it means that, let me tell you what happened to me. And you know what? We love those stories. And we've got a lot of people who feel uh, very strongly about our products because of what's happened to them in a subjective way. In other words, they didn't, they didn't actually have evidence that this happened to them, but it happened to them. They felt better. Well, we heard from Nancy. That was a powerful statement that she made about her health. But she can't prove that to us in a medical way. Right? Now, I believe her personally, and I'm sure all of you believe her. But some doctors will come in and they'll say, well, Nancy, why don't, we sh why don't you prove that to us? And there will be a problem there. Okay. And the problem is, it's not clinical. And doctors, and in fact, many people want to have clinical data. They want to be able to know in a very objective, scientific way that something happened and it was this thing that caused that something to happen. Okay? They want to be able to isolate the cause and match it with the effect. So, when I look at network marketing companies, I see all of them operating that same way. And when all companies operate the same way, selling the same sorts of products in the same sort of way, using the same sort of mechanism, what you end up having is what is called in business academia a red ocean. A red ocean, why? What makes a red ocean red? Blood. Because the companies are knocking each other off. They're just killing each other one by one. And we see that in network marketing everywhere I go around the world. I see this infighting between these companies because they're all fighting about doing the same thing the same way. And so they're saying, I'm different, I'm different, I'm different, but nobody's really different. <laughs> I want to tell you that you cannot really, network marketing is growing right now globally 3 to 5 percent a year. Statin drugs are growing 15 to 20 percent a year. Now I'm looking at being in that red ocean, and I've been in that red ocean for the last six years. And so have you. And I'm ready to leave it. I don't like swimming around in blood. I don't mind you guys, but I'm out of that place. And we've got something special. We've had it all along, but we forgot about it in the last six years. And that is we've got a product that produces clinical evidence that it works. Yes, it produces a lot of anecdotal evidence as well, but it does produce clinical evidence. And I built my business on clinical evidence. I told people, get a blood test. Use the product for a couple of months and then get a blood test. And if it hasn't reduced your cholesterol, get your money back. You know how many times I've given money back? Zero. So, we are focusing on the clinical application of BiosLock. We don't compete in that place anymore. We compete in the blue ocean. And guess who's out there with us? Pharmaceutical companies? They're not there. They're not there. We're by ourselves there. Actually, next slide, please. Pharmaceutical companies? Next slide. Oh, no, wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Yes, they're in their own red ocean. The pharmaceuticals are in their own red ocean. Because all the pharmaceutical companies produce clinical evidence. Every statin drug is clinically proven. Everyone's patented. They all have the pharmaceutical reps. They all, they all produce chemical side effects. Now here we are. We're differentiated from them because we've got a distribution channel. Remember when I told you that first slide, I want you to remember that 72%? 72% of the people that get put on statin drugs do not complete the treatment. 
They don't last one year on the statin drug. They stop taking them. Probably because they don't feel well. But they stop taking them before the cholesterol level gets down. Why do they stop taking them? Because the doctor doesn't call them every day and say, did you take that? I mean, how many of you had a doctor call you up and say, hey, did you take your medications? Now, one of the beautiful things about the network marketing channel is that we do, in fact, take care of our people. We do, in fact, call them and say, now, make sure you take care of that. Are you taking your bios? Go get it now, but take it. I've done that myself to my customers. We're very engaged in creating what is called a compliant environment. The biggest problem is, if there's nurses and doctors here, I'll tell you, they'll agree with me, the biggest problem in treatment is getting compliance, getting people to be compliant and taking what they're supposed to take and doing what they're supposed to do. The network marketing channel produces a compliant environment. And so we've got the pharmaceutical companies over here in a red ocean, and we separate ourselves from them by the channel we operate in. We separate it, next slide please. We separate ourselves from the network marketing companies by having clinical evidence, and we're out here by ourselves. We're all by ourselves. Now we've got several hundred products, amazing products, wonderful products. But this one produces clinical evidence it's patented and it's safe and natural in the fastest growing marketplace in the world. It just happens to be we're in the right place at the right time. And if we're smart enough to do something about it, we will do a lot of good to a lot of people. And we'll do a lot of good for ourselves. I remember I was, uh, I was, how many of you have been to Hawaii? You, I guess if you live in the you probably don't go to Hawaii, do you? you kind of got your own Hawaii right here, don't you? But I was in Hawaii a few years back, and I was in, on the island of Maui, and I went to the top of the mountain, an extinct volcano called Haleakala. Anybody done this and ride the bike down? You, you, you go up there, it's really kind of a silly thing to do, but it's, I recommend it to you, it's a lot of fun. They pick you up at 2 o'clock in the morning, which is the hard part, and uh, they drive you to the top of this 10,200 foot volcano. And then they give you a bicycle, and you get there about the time the sun rises up over the Pacific. It's spectacular. And then you ride your bike from 10,000 plus down to sea level. It's really a fantastic experience. And I was riding down and going through the ginger groves, and I come across this beautiful estate, I mean palatial estate. And I said to the guy that was with me, the guy that said, who lives there? And he said, that belongs to the Bishop family. I said, who's the Bishop family? He says, well, they came many, many years ago as missionaries to the island to do good, and they did very, very well. <laughs> Get it? Get it? The opportunity for you to do good and to do very, very well is right in front of you now. And I want to, we've talked to your leaders and we'll be more than happy, there will be more information coming out about this over the course of the weeks and months ahead about how you can capitalize on this situation. But I want you to understand that this will not get any better. You will never have a better opportunity to gain peace of mind, peace of heart, and at the same time build a financial independence doing something like this. Now, let's get away from the business for a second and just conclude. Well, you guys are fast on the translation. I just gave you those last few slides this afternoon. Thank you for doing that. Uh, we, we can turn that off now. I've just got uh, two minutes. I want to just finish with. We've covered a lot of ground. We've covered a lot of ground tonight. Uh, this presentation and other documentation will be made available to Mr. Card. He'll have it available to him and he'll be more than happy to share it with you. There will be other research that uh, will be made available to you. We're going to do more clinical trials. We'll be launching where Yale University has approached us. They want to do a clinical trial on BIOS Live Complete. That will be starting. Our chief science officer is working out protocols with uh, Yale University. Uh, right now, that will be started sometime in the fall. Uh, 
We'll be doing other clinical trials. We'd love to do one here in Singapore. Uh, if you can introduce some good cardiologists that would like to be involved in that, we'd be happy to get something started here. Uh, we want to just absolutely get you involved in a major way with Biofly. There's four things that I want you to study. If you want to be serious about this business and both doing good and doing well, there's four things you need to study. You need to study heart disease. You need to study cholesterol. You need to study statin drugs. And you need to study Biofly. Those are the things you need to become familiar with. As you become familiar with those four things, you're going to begin gain a conviction about who we are and what we've got to offer the world and the magic of it. You, you, if you type in statin drug side effects tonight on Google, if you get online, I know everybody, I know everybody in Singapore is online. I think that it's the fully wired nation, right? That's impressive. Get on Google tonight and type in statin drugs, S-T-A-T-I-N drugs, side effects, and you'll spend the whole night reading. It's that big. How many hits do you get, Kurt? Like 8,000 hits? Or more? Begin to educate yourself about what the marketplace is doing because the statin drugs are coming to Singapore. All right? $25 billion were spent on statin drugs last year. 75% of that was spent in the United States. 25% was spent in the rest of the world combined. Now, if you're the pharmaceutical companies, what do you got to do if you want to keep growing your company? You've already, you already own the U.S. You've got 75% of the marketplace. Right? Where are you going to go? You're going to go to Asia, and you're going to go to Europe. Now, they spend 20% minimum on marketing these statin drugs. That means $5 billion last year was spent selling these drugs. Campaigns on media, print, so newspapers, magazines, radio, television, the internet, it's coming here. It's probably already here. It'll get bigger and bigger over the next one to three years. You will start hearing about heart disease. You're going to start hearing about cholesterol on a regular basis. In the United States, you cannot, you cannot open the newspaper, you cannot open a major national magazine without having a cholesterol ad in it. All right? That's going to come here. That money is going to start getting spent here. It's going to get start getting spent in Japan, in Korea, in China, in Europe. If you position yourself ahead of that, you put yourself in a position to profit from that marketing campaign that they're doing because they are limited by law and what they can say. They have to include the list of side effects. So they spend $5 billion marketing their statin drug and at the same time knocking down all the side effects and you can use that same marketing dollar the market bios line. I've done this myself on numerous occasions where I sat down in front of a person, I showed them the statin drug advertisement. On this side, it was the happy family, daddy dies, sad family type ad. Okay? It was, I mean, I'm not making light of it, but the whole idea is to create an emotional effect. That was this side of the ad. On this side of the ad was six point font, tiny, tiny print, full page of the side effects. And I would sit down in front of my prospective client or partner and I'd say, this is selling the statin drug. This over here is selling my product. Would you just take a few minutes and read that? <laughs> they get about a quarter of the page down that I think I've seen enough. And I said, you ready to get going? They said, yeah. See, the reality of it is, as you position yourself, as you start acting in a very intelligent way and looking at this business, not just as a hobby, not just as something that you belong to, but you start seeing it as a very, very tactical business. You'll start plugging into that revenue stream that the, that the pharmaceuticals are going to be driving into this marketplace and other marketplaces all throughout Asia. I got into the Philippines yesterday afternoon. I got online, which I do in each market I come into. I couldn't do that. My computer's broken right now. 
and I googled in Philippines cholesterol, the first hit I got was Pfizer for the Lipitor drug. They've already got a beautiful website built. My guess is they've got one here also. They are promoting that like crazy and they're going to be doing more and more. There's 4.2 million people in Singapore and I'll tell you right now, 35 or 40% of them have a cholesterol problem. That means about every other person that you meet needs Biosline. The statin drug companies know what that means is that every other person that they meet needs a statin drug. The question is, what does the person really want? Do they want a chemical agent or do they want a natural agent? We can produce as good or better effect on LDL, we can produce a three or four times better effect on HDL than the statin drugs can. We have clinically proven that. My suggestion to you, ladies and gentlemen, is to take this very seriously. This is the opportunity knocking in your lifetime. It can change your life. It can change you financially forever. It has me. More important than the money, it can create within you a sense of satisfaction about what you're doing with your life that you'll never get anywhere outside of, of a charity or a religion. It's that kind of crusade. I want to thank you for coming tonight. Thank you very much for your attention. I know it's been a long evening. It's 9.30, so I promise you I'll be done at 9.30. We're done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.